G'day all, it's Colin from PCTLC and thanks for joining me. In this video we're going to be looking at um, installing Ubuntu 19.04 to a separate home partition. So let's get on with that. English US Install third party Third party is for all your drivers for your Wi-Fi and your graphics and so forth uh, Codecs Okay, so what we're going to choose is in this instance is something else I think what we'll do is we'll start from scratch because that's what I like to do just in case someone's got a a disk that they have available and they they want to know how to do it from the start which is what I normally do anyway it's best to be able to do it that way we can do it all from the installer now we'll start with free space now if you're not sure how to do that then if if you're 100% sure that Everything on the disk you do not need. You can just delete everything and follow along with this. We fine. Um, as long as you've backed up your important data, that's the most important thing. So I'm going to be making a primary at 512 megabytes, which is going to be our boot partition. It's EFI system partition. Then we're going to create a swap, which is 8192. I'm starting to remember this stuff now. <laughs> I've done it a few times now. Swap area, that's a primary. Okay. Um, and then we're going to be creating another primary, XT4. And that was is a 61440 ext4 and that's going to be root which is where the operating system is installed and then we have free space again click the plus button again we're going to leave the rest of that as free space now uh, it's going to be ext4 now what we're going to do here is this is the difference between a separate data and a separate home partition we're going to be selecting forward slash home so your whole home everything in that data partition you do not need to make sim links it'll all be like it's your own home documents downloads all your firefox and mozilla and thunderbird and firefox and google chrome will all be in home directory so that's the way we're doing that here forward slash home now uh, the device we're using for bootloader installation will be the SDA1 EFI and let's install now and continue Australia Perth is me And let's continue. Okay, so that's the install complete, and we shall reboot the system and log into the freshly installed desktop and just check that out. So here we are back into the freshly installed desktop of Ubuntu 1904 with separate home partition. Now, what I've been up to before I've started recording and um, let's just um, put Google Chrome as a favorite up here just move it up next to Firefox so we'll just quickly run through a few things um, I've got some favorites here I've made a folder with a couple of my Linux faves which is DistroWatch and OMG Ubuntu as you can see they're working fine uh, shortcut to YouTube and my PC TLC channel that's on Firefox and also we have the same thing with Google Chrome 
Um, I've got the folder there to OMG Ubuntu Distro Watch. Also, YouTube and my channel PC TLC. So I've done all that. The other thing I have done is if we have a look, I don't know why I clicked that twice. I've <laughs> never done that before. Um, the other thing I've done is documents. I've got some documents here. A couple of documents from LibreOffice. That's Calc and that's the other one which is um, Impress. Um, also we have in downloads. I've downloaded some VirtualBox stuff in the past. I thought I would um, just uh, move them over to in there, copy them over. That's all it's, uh, from my backup uh, disk. A little bit of YouTube music, as you can see. I use some of those for my videos. Uh, some pictures, some wallpapers for Linux. Um, and also videos, which is this one I'm, in, I'm recording now. And this one here, I just thought I'd swap over. The Men Who Build America. Interesting uh, video, that one. As you can see, I've got quite a few things going on in my home folders. Now, um, just to re a reminder that if you're also using Thunderbird, that's also kept in your home folder as well. So any changes made to Thunderbird should be kept as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to reinstall Ubuntu. Now, the advantages of a separate home is all of this stuff that I just showed you inside of here should not be touched or will well it will not, I will not touch it upon a fresh install now let's just say I'm um, at the moment currently on 1904 so let's just have a quick look at that 1904 so if uh, 1910 comes around I can install that 2004 long-term support comes around I can install that and everything will be kept in here including um, my Google Chrome and my Firefox should all be kept the same so we're going to go through another fresh install just to have a look at how that works there's not a, not a huge amount of difference within it it's very important that we do do this second install to show you um, how we install it and keep our home folder preserved for a fresh install now it, this um, because you've got some configuration files in your home if we open up um, the hidden files it's a lot of stuff in here I think also your extensions and all that now they could be an issue I'm not sure um, extensions if they do change or they're not supported by the the next release maybe uh, those could change and you may have to reinstall those. I'm not really sure how that works. I haven't done that with extensions before. However, um, I think I can only foresee that that could be an issue. But if anyone else has done this and they 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 know that there's a couple of issues uh, that could arise, uh, really appreciate you making some comments below this video. So let's get on with a second install of this and see how we go okay so here we are in another live environment of Ubuntu 19.04 uh, this is the second install with uh, with home partition so let's get on with that we'll install the third party and we'll be installing something else. So that's a selection we'll be making here, something else. Okay, so there's not a lot to do here because um, we don't need to delete any of these. We can just continue to use the same one. So this one here, um, if we double click that, if I partition, yep. Um, that's our swap that'll be used anyway and this one here now the root partition it's probably best if there's an issue on that then we need to definitely format the root partition so we'll install back to root um, if it's also a, a different um, 
If it's also a different version or the next version or something like that, it's just best to do a fresh install to root and, and actually um, format that partition. So what we're going to do with this one here is we can double click or we can right click and change or double click. We're going to be using the ext4, which is what it already is. We do not want to format the partition, but we do want to mount it as forward slash home. So the only difference here is we do not want to format it because all our stuff is on that ext4 dev sda4, 930 gig. So we do not want to format it at all. So let's go OK on that one. All is good and we're going to be using SDA1 for our boot partition installation there. All we're doing is the root partition is the 60 gig and selecting our boot device SDA1 EFI. So let's install now. Australia Perth. And let's continue that. So these things can be very daunting to learn at, at first because this is just a test, uh, a test ground for me. So all that stuff is just uh, on, on the home folder, just stuff I've copied over. But when you are doing this in, in reality, um, you'd be sitting there thinking, oh boy, I hope I've selected the right one. Oh boy, I hope I've done the right thing. <laughs> I've, I've been there in the past, but um, number one, it, it is always good to have a backup of all of your um, all of your documentation anyway. All this means is you don't have to copy it all back over. And if you stick, if you're the sort of person who just sticks with the same desktop environment, then it should be all okay. And especially if it's the same the same um, Linux base as well. So, you know, if you're sticking with Ubuntu or if you start with Ubuntu and you're always using Ubuntu all the way through, it should be A-OK -okay for that. Or you can use Manjaro or you can use Arch or, or um, Solus or anything like that. Doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure that all those should do. That Arch is probably a little bit more difficult to do, but an Arch base possibly depends on your skill level of Ubuntu, um, of Linux, but you could do it for elementary, you could do it for Linux Mint, the Cinnamon desktop, all the Ubuntu flavors. Okay, so that is the second install complete with the uh, separate home partition. So I shall log into the new desktop and hopefully, not red-faced, but everything is still there, and uh, hopefully um, it looks exactly what we want it to be looking like so if it's not then you benefit from uh, from uh, any mistakes that I've made and we do it all over again so let's see how we go so here we are again back in the fresh installed desktop I have updated the system installed simple screen recorder um, now what I've found is simple screen recorder had uh, very, pretty much the same settings I needed it already knew my microphone um, it already knew where the file was going and the name of the file I had to rename this one because it was pointing to the last one I made um, So let's open up our files and have a look. So if we go to documents, I've got these documents here um, If we go to downloads, there's the VirtualBox stuff that hasn't been touched none of, none of this has been touched. It's all still there YouTube music um, pictures uh, Linux pictures there, wall, some wallpapers, and my videos. So that was the last video that was there. It was already picked up by Simple Screen Recorder. I just renamed it to this one, which is what I'm doing now, the Men Who Built America. So that's all well and good there. Um, let's open Firefox, and we should... Now just remember, this is a completely fresh install. So I haven't even opened Firefox yet. 
it's the first time and you, as you can see we've already got everything still intact all the shortcuts are still there so if you've got a, a bucket load of um, bookmarks in there they will all show up just like this on a fresh install now I haven't installed Google Chrome yet so let's just do that and we'll have a look at how to install Google Chrome on Ubuntu as well download Chrome hit that button uh, this is for Debian or Ubuntu so we're on Ubuntu accept and install and we're going to open with the software install so open with the software install click OK that'll open up your software center and that's going to be a bit slow but actually I should have opened that up before I did this because it can cause issues although it looks like it's working all right there put in your password so Google Chrome has been installed and let's open up Google Chrome and see what's going on there and as you can see brand new fresh install of Ubuntu fresh install of Google Chrome and already it's not asking me do you want this default and blah 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 um, my bookmarks are, st are all there intact and that you can see the advantages of a home partition now I don't do home partition because I distro hop to a lot of different desktop environments that's why I use the separate data partition although if I do manage to say that's it I'm settled uh, I'm, I'm really looking at a Ubuntu budgie at the moment so I may even do a separate home partition with that on my main system um, and just keep updating that one so if you want to follow the interim releases of Ubuntu say 19 well I'm on 1904 now and then when 1910 comes out just reinstall 2004 comes out there's your long-term support bang you're on the long-term support you're done that's the advantages of the home partition but always back up your your documents anyway your precious documents and videos and pictures and all that to a separate hard drive external um, on your home network however you do it um, with a syncing program however you do that but it's really important to do that anyway because things can go wrong as you can see that's worked out really well so I'm pretty happy with all that so I hope you enjoyed this video hope you found it interesting and, and informative and thanks for watching